Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's ruling Liberal Party faces a crucial test in a by-election for the La Salle Anand Virgin constituency in Montreal. This seat, once considered a safe Liberal stronghold, has become highly contested and the outcome could have major implications for Trudeau's leadership. The by-election was triggered after a Liberal legislator resigned and despite the party's historical strength in the area, polls now show a tight race. If the Liberals fail to secure the seat, it could add to the growing calls for Trudeau to step down as party leader, a sentiment that has already been expressed by some of his party members. Alexandra Mendez, a Liberal lawmaker from Quebec, recently voiced that many of her constituents believe Trudeau is no longer the right leader. I didn't hear it from two or three people, I heard it from dozens, she said in an interview with Radio Canada. Trudeau has been in office for nearly nine years, but his popularity has declined amid frustrations over rising living costs and housing crisis. He has maintained that he will lead the party in the next general election, which must take place by October 2025. He recently commented that voter anger over these economic issues would be a significant factor in the by-election outcome. The Liberals are facing a steep uphill battle against Pierre Polivare's Conservative Party, which has surged ahead in national polls. A recent Lega poll put the Conservatives at 45% public support, with the Liberals trailing at 25%. The poll also shows that the New Democratic Party and Bloc Québécois are closing in on the Liberals in the La Salle and Nan Verdun riding, with the three parties neck and neck. The pressure on Trudeau intensified after the Liberals lost a safe seat in Toronto in a June special election. Polls suggest that the Liberals could suffer a similar fate in this by-election, which would further erode confidence in Trudeau's leadership. The high cost of living and a growing housing crisis have become central issues in Canadian politics. Polyver has capitalized on this discontent promising to eliminate the federal carbon tax and cap immigration until more housing is available. In contrast, the Liberals have sought to portray Polyver as aligned with the Make America Great Again movement, seeking to paint him as a divisive figure ahead of the next election. Voting in the by-election ends at 9 p.m. local time, with early results expected within 90 minutes. However, the inclusion of several other candidates, including 80 activists, frustrated by Trudeau's failure to reform Canada's voting system, could delay the final count.